Uh, I think the only one thing that I just thought about uh, in this chapter is like how Hawkins must feel, like or what it must feel like to be a, I don't know, a pirate with some clout and get all these like highlights and accolades and shit, and then you get like caught by a Yonko. And then he puts you with headliners and you walk into the room and there's like a nigga with a line on his stomach. And like <laughs> all of these like weirdos basically. And it's like, oh, so this is where he sees me. Like in the context of the world and all this cloud I got, he sees me as like this trash. Depressing like, as hell. <laughs> yeah, like that's kind of fucked <laughs> but I just thought about that. I was just, just like, damn, bro, that's gotta suck for Basil. Because at least like extra probably made up sad in that room, maybe. Because actually, now that I was thinking about, it, I I remember I was thinking about this all the other time. Like extra had uh pulled up on one of Kaido's bases. Like that's how he joined. Like way back in the day, there's like that episode where he goes to like this snowy place and drops somebody. So he probably got like the the promotion. Like maybe there. Maybe not in the flying six, but he was probably like, e, you a headliner, but like you on your way out. And then, you know, the scratch man was like, yo, I'm, I got to weasel my way out the ship. But Basil was just sitting there in that room all the time with all these weak ass niggas just like, damn, bro, this is really where I'm at in the world. Mm. They could just take my crew. <laughs> <laughs> and he couldn't do a damn thing about it. That's what I'm saying. Nigga with a lion head could just be Basil right now. Like, that's it. That's a wrap. That's when real right. life hits you in the face, man. Yeah. Hawkins is definitely down there. Hawkins is definitely down there, like, eating with the gifters, bro. Fuck that nigga. Damn. <laughs> I would have downgraded. If I was Kaido, that yeah, would have got you a downgrade right there. Stop it. No respect. Come on, think about it. Capone had real clout in Big Mom's crew. Mm -hmm. It's confirmed, too. I mean, like, why? Guard. Even, yeah, everyone, um, he got clout. What's his name? The music buddy. He got some clout. Shit, yep. He's the whole ass DJ. Hawkins ain't got shit. <laughs> he had that dude go collect the numbers and everything. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. X Drake is up there in the Flying Six. Like, yeah. I don't know. Hawkins and it kind of confirmed kinda like, this week that Kato cares about, like, strength. So if you were strong, yeah. you'd move up. So all that tells me is that Hawkins ain't that strong. That's yeah. what to, me, me. to me, Hawkins just makes a really great. Uh, second in command, like him and Law now, they are basically like great second in commands to me. Like I feel like they should move to that position. <laughs> like once, yeah, I'm just saying once the like worst generation starts to consolidate into bigger crews or alliances, I feel like those people should just start to be subordinates and bigger people's crews because it just they're great as like a oh here's this guy you didn't expect, but they're definitely not like leader type to me anymore. Especially not Hawkins. Like Law can still make that argument just because his power is that OP. But, like, Hawkins, like, it's it's already been a system of it. Like, when Kizaru showed up, come on, at least who Rogue tried to fight. Uh, Hawkins, didn't he just, like, I don't even know if dude shot him with the things when all those straw dolls started coming out of his body. You know what yeah, I'm talking about, yeah, right? Like, when Kizaru showed up Hawkins and dude just started. Hawkins really fight back, in a way. Not really. Well, that's that's like, especially because his character, he's, like, he could never be, he'd be, like, a real captain because in One Piece, like, you got to do, like, risky shit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He doesn't do that. He takes risks he only to a certain lose, amount. He gonna so, run. That's why I feel like he's a better subordinate or, like, maybe, like, a uh, Mihawk type. Like, just go off and do random stuff on your own. But definitely not, like, I don't even know what his goal. Like, I feel like if they take the time to talk to him, I'd be like, that's the stupidest goal I've ever heard Hawkins. Yeah. Like, go join I mean, I wouldn't even want him as a subordinate because I feel like, say, like, he's subordinate to Luffy, right? And Luffy, he end up doing some dumb shit going against the world government. Hawkins gonna calculate yeah. and say, "Oh, Luffy got a one percent chance of winning." I'm out. Shit, I'm going with it. Oh yeah, I'm out. Peace. True. He's gonna be a keeper. He's gonna, he gonna snake, be a he snake every time. Yeah, I know that's great. That's the funny part. That's what Capone is gonna do too. Capone yeah. gonna snake you too in the, in his best interest. But you but know, like, like yeah, Capone, Capone. Though. He uh, shit, you know he gonna do that shit. Capone is only gonna snake better. you if he feels that you're somebody who's extremely powerful. Like if you're the head of some uh, large organization, that's the only way he's gonna want to try to take your ass out. With the way yeah, Luffy is right now, you can. I feel like Luffy can trust him at this point right now because he doesn't see Luffy as this, you know, all tower. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because like, cause, yeah, because because Capone's he he snaked Big Mom still, and Big Mom yeah. probably had like a higher percentage. But Hawkins just go with the higher percentage each time. You can't trust that nigga. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean, to me, I just rather him do that than talk to him and he's like, "Yo, I'm looking for the all blue." Like, what? 
Get out of here, bro. That's not <laughs> like, what are you talking about? I just feel like it's not beneficial. And then, like, when I... I don't even know if he has, like, a vendetta against a particular Yoko. He Maybe he's on the Shanks boat. So that would actually be perfect for him to join Kid's crew because I feel like Kid will go, like, all right, if you try to betray me, like, I'm cutting the leg off. Like, don't come back. Like, if I see you, I'm cutting the leg off. Like, that's how I feel like Kid would be. So he might be a great, like, person for the Kid Alliance. Like, just so yeah. just be under that dude. He seemed ruthless enough to just go, all right, yeah, so you're going to betray me? I already knew you was going to do that. That's why I sent you on this mission so you could die. Like, bye. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't going nowhere on his own. Yeah. He's over with. No way. Over no. with. Like, they <laughs> might as well just bring Jewel Bonnie back and have her take his place. Damn. She had a more interesting story. She's at least related to Kuma in some way, right. shape, or form. At least right. she got big badges.